in Cuenca, we have uh, had a culture of uh, living with water. We have four rivers that crosses the city, and therefore we've been um, always thinking about this um, relationship between the society, the city, and uh, the water and, and the rivers. And the rivers connect us with the ecosystems, with the paramo in the upper parts of the watersheds. And uh, it's been one of the main study fields of study for the university already for more than 30 years. Yeah, the, the idea of the keynote was to start the conversation about the threats that we have for the for water security in general, not only for drinking water, but also for agriculture and for hydropower production. So the idea of the keynote was to bring uh, a number of uh, experts in different fields, and not only from academia, from university, but also from the the local government, regional governments, national governments, also from the public, co uh, private companies, just to have this uh, discussion about uh, the problem that we have, we are facing now, and to identify solutions that can be uh, implemented in the near term. I think uh, when the uh, organizers started this series of conferences in 2016, they identified that um, it was important to have a, a regional, co a worldwide conference, but organized in different regions of the world. In that way, it was easier for uh, regional participants to attend the conference and to, to share the knowledge that is being generated in the different countries. Although now we have the presence of uh, 29 countries, the majority comes from uh, Latin America. And uh, it's been a very nice, very good experience to learn from other people in our region about the diversity of problems that we are facing. You know, South America is a very diverse region in terms of ecosystems, in terms of culture, in terms of people. And um, learning from each other is something uh, wonderful because we can uh, save a lot of time when we have these events and when we can really meet new people, learn from each other, and then um, create networks that can help uh, improve the local living conditions.